Hello my awesome and amazing Scorpios and Pisces. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Let's see what's going on between these two amazing star signs calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio and Pisces viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers and so it is. And of course, rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle a deck to. Power of number two, we could see the High Priestess card kick in. Some of you guys are dealing with a Pisces born <clears throat> for you Scorpios, could be dealing with a Pisces born in the month of February. So we could also see the Two of Cups kick in. That's not to say that you're not dealing with a Pisces born in the month of March, because that's true. Power of number seven, <clears throat> we could see the chariot card show up. There could be a long distance relationship connection that's going on and picking up on online dating. Long distance communication or there's forward movement or somebody's coming in at a distance to come and see you. Could be either one of you. For some you know, in that particular, you know, situation. This person could also be at an emotional distance. Either one of you. But it feels like somebody's wanting some kind of victory and success here. And power of number seven again. Okay. Adding up the numbers. We could see also two seven of swords also picking up on the seven of pentacles. And the seven of wands but adding up the numbers brings me to the number 15 15 in tarot is the devil card i feel like somebody here <clears throat> could have used some manipulating tactics before in the past and or there could be a karmic this could be a karmic situation for the moment somebody may need to level up and or speak their truth or somebody here could be obsessing over one another maybe spying in on your social media accounts we'll find out power of a number 15 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpio and Pisces viewers and subscribers. What is the overall general collective energy, please, for these two star signs dealing with one another? Let's see if I can get that adjusted there. Show me what's up. Mm, two of Pentacles. There's an imbalance of energy or there could be juggling of money. Somebody could be juggling their finances right now or somebody here in the connection is juggling you and or someone else. What is this imbalanced energy? What's going on? Mm, the Sun card. Somebody here could be married yet they're wanting to have this beautiful connection here either one of you could feel like each other is a player i've got the king of wands on the bottom of the deck what is the sun card please Mm, the king of swords somebody's waiting for somebody here to reach out and communicate i feel like if there's been radio silence or crickets or somebody hasn't been text messaging <sighs> either one of you in a certain situation could be headed towards divorce court king of swords can represent a judge and or a lawyer somebody could be paying for lawyers fees right now there could also be child support payments and or custody battles that may also be thriving. 
Mm-hmm. Somebody feels like they just shut down, maybe went into hermit mode, not speaking up. What is the King of Swords? Because, you know, the King of Swords can also bring in mental clarity. So I'm just trying to get mental clarity about this connection. Mm, there's a seven of pentacles. Okay, patiently waiting. I've got this waiting energy, and then it feels like there's also these delays. Either one of you could be possibly dealing um, with a third party situation going on. Waiting for something to grow, or somebody wants to plant uh, new seeds in this connection. So there could be some form of like a. <clears throat> Maybe even a desire to reconcile for some. Excuse me for one moment, you guys. Forgot to prepare my little Toto's breakfast before I started the video. So, <clears throat> somebody could be uh, taken advantage of, excuse me, for their money. Could also be a well to do couple. I can't help but not feel that there's some form of selfishness. There's some form of selfishness that's going on. And if there's a long term committed partnership, it might be the inevitable that, you know, you may decide like to call it quits. I also feel that there are family members or friends, a social circle of friends. They could kind of be maybe all up in your business right now, trying to gab, gossip, whisper, or there could have been blame, the blame game, blaming and or pointing fingers at one another. There could have been decisions that were made within this connection that somebody thought it was the right thing to do and somebody could have shut down. Now they've been cold hearted, but I am picking up on family members pointing the fingers at either one of you, maybe for certain choices uh, that were made. But again, the overall energy is that there's imbalance going on here. I do feel that there is chemistry, there is passion, there's desire. This could also be a new connection between Scorpio and Pisces. Maybe somebody here does exactly see the future because of the sun card, but they may have to go through a divorce or break off from a third party here. Trusted ancestors, show me what Scorpio's higher self wants to say to Pisces. The Empress. Scorpio, you may be wanting some form of respect from your Pisces. Some of you Scorpios in this connection could be known globally around the world for something that you do. You could also be a mother figure with this Pisces meaning having children, maybe there are children involved. Or somebody here feels like this is like a soulmate, twin flame relationship. What is the Empress please? From Scorpio's perspective unto Pisces. The High Priestess, somebody here could be an Oracle card reader, reader, tarot card reader, highly intuitive. Four of Wands, again, Twin Flame, Soulmate, 1111 Connection, wanting more of a solid foundation. Somebody could have also been very greedy with a house.
house near water I'm picking up on. Message from the High Priestess from Scorpio's perspective unto Pisces. Communication. Yeah, somebody here is manifesting for communication. Scorpio, you could be manifesting for communication from your Pisces. Maybe wanting to have a big new beginning. Or maybe you feel, especially if this is a newer connection, you could feel that you are the ultimate prize, shall we say. But I'm not picking up necessarily that it's in an egotistical way. You could just sense things, especially if you are intuitive, that you would be the best fit, the best match for Pisces. Message from the Page of Wands. Yeah, you could be trying to align yourself, Scorpio, to manifest Pisces in a positive direction unto you, especially if it's a newer connection. Or somebody here in the connection is just flat out wanting peace. No more arguments, no more tug of war or tit for tat. <clears throat> message from Pisces higher self under Scorpio right now Pisces you could just be putting your nose to the grindstone you could be having a lot of irons in the fire right now with this eight of pentacles a lot of work a lot of work energy going on or you're wanting something to work out with Scorpio or you view maybe Scorpio as a hard worker for some of you. Or that you see that the situation could work out. But something here, I feel like there needs to be some kind of a releasement. I'm feeling more or less a releasement of a third party. Let's go into the Hidden Truth Oracle. We will be together again. Yeah, Scorpio, maybe it's you. It could be Pisces. I don't know if there's manifestation work going on here. Somebody's trying to manifest with their thoughts. It could be listening to guided meditations, also lighting candles, doing candle workings, things like that. Just using their spiritual power, their spiritual gifts in order, I say, to bring in something very harmonious. The good news is, is that in today's reading, there's no really in truth malicious energy that's coming in i do feel that there has been a breakdown in communication for some of you guys however there's also newer connections between scorpio and pisces and, and scorpio i feel like you feel pisces has been in and out you know and it could be kind of driving you nuts a bit uh, maybe you're just not trying to force nor push anything on pisces um and Pisces, that could be for you too as well. So many things remind me of you. If this was a long-term connection that actually had involved marriage um bottom of the deck, by the way, I bury myself in work to forget about you. Yeah, somebody's trying to they're purposefully trying to ignore the connection uh, through being distracted with their kids or being distracted with their family, being distracted with what's going on in their world or within their work life. Okay. Um, I do feel that something here could work out, you know, but I do feel that there's a sense of, patience that needs to come in but i feel like somebody in truth underneath the surface somebody lost their patience and just kind of like you know i wash my hands of this because i just somebody somebody doesn't want to wait i feel like somebody's just got tired of waiting you know there's somebody's feelings here too beyond the cards of what i'm i'm seeing here is that if this was a newer connection and if there was some form of in and out, 
I think somebody just got bored with the situation because it's like I'm seeing the four of cups in my mind's eye. In some scenarios, um, if there was a long-term committed situation, either one of you could be in a form of a separation, but maybe technically have yet to go through divorce court for some of you. Okay. And um, somebody's being cold hearted, could be cold hearted with their money, or I am picking up on a gold digger as well. There's a lot of money, some relationships here between Scorpio and Pisces, there's a lot of money involved. Could be life insurance policies, life insurance policies. Could be another reason why in some scenarios between Scorpio and Pisces, this imbalance of energy or the reason why somebody may not want to let somebody go is because of the money that was built up or grown over a period of time. So somebody in the connection also too in a particular situation busts their ass to, you know, make sure that everybody is good taken care of, but either one of you may be lacking or doing things in truth for yourself. I am picking up a sense of loneliness as well uh, going on in the connection or somebody's trying to give everything that they got. But I also feel here too, that somebody's not being recognized for the good things that they do do. They just, I don't know. I feel like somebody here just expects it. Mm. So a lot of really weird, uh, mixed signals that I'm picking up beyond the cards. Um, but I do feel that yes, there is an attraction, there is a chemistry energy, but Again, waiting for communication and feeling like this connection is very imbalanced, which means that somebody could have lost their patience and say, you know what, I don't want to wait. This is, this, is, this is hard enough on me as it is. So some of you just might have, you know, given up on the situation. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. For some of you Scorpios, you could have felt backstabbed and betrayed by your Pisces. However, some of you are still hoping for the best that things could, you know, work out or have some form of reconciliation for those that do want reconciliation. But in truth, opening your heart up you could also feel too, Scorpio, that maybe if this is a newer connection with a Pisces, however, I, I'm feeling like maybe this Pisces somehow, some way got you to open up your heart chakra to be interested, uh, maybe after going through some form of tumultuous situations with other lovers, potential suitors, etc. So this Pisces could have been gearing towards a, you know, more of a loving, nurturing energy. I do feel that some of you have had some very strong conversations, could have been talking on the phone late at night, um, you know, for hours upon hours, just talking about everything and pretty much everything and anything under the sun, you know what I mean? So there is um, certain connections here between Scorpio and Pisces where, you know, there's still maybe a sense of curiosity, but I'm picking up that somebody did get impatient and just, mm, just kind of lost interest a bit because there's just an imbalance of energy and maybe somebody through text messages was giving more of their emotional energy in the text messages and maybe only getting one or two words or one straight up sentence without any uh, emotion behind it, okay? <clears throat> so it almost feels that certain text messages were just being, you know, kept on the surface. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So somebody here may be wanting forgiveness in this connection, maybe because certain choices needed to be made. There could have been a split, a separation, a divorce that's going on. 
somebody could be taking the blame for everything. And maybe it's because there are friends or family members that are pointing the finger at either one of you for certain decisions that were made in the connection. But in truth, it's really none of their damn business. You know, relationships obviously are a two way street, not a five lane highway with dirty bird activity that can come in and, you know, basically, um, you know, try to disrupt the flow of the connection or just because these people have nothing better to do. It could be a brother, a sister, an aunt, an uncle, a grandparent, a mother, a father, a, a you know, a guy that has a best friend, you know what I mean? A woman that has a best friend here. I don't know. The bottom line is that there's something here that needs to be worked out and or somebody just gave up on the situation because it was just too imbalanced, maybe one-sided, um, no equal reciprocity, especially if it was a newer interest or connection. But, but there's some heavy manifestation that's going on and somebody could be wishing, hoping, and praying that somebody's going to just, you know, want the situation to grow. And again, picking up that there could be um, a scenario between Pisces and Scorpio. It could be about divorce. Maybe divorce is the inevitable. You never know. There could end up being more peace. If you're in a divorce situation, there could end up maybe being more peace of mind, peace of heart, um, and maybe a better friendship, you know, um, after the divorce is said and done in certain scenarios. But Right now, somebody's emotions, because this is a very highly, heavily watery connection, okay? Um, I feel like both of you are highly sensitive to one another, but do I still feel that there's attraction here? Yes, I do. For some, it may not be the same attraction. There could end up being maybe a little bit more mutual respect and, uh, hey, I sneeze confirmation. There could be more uh, mutual respect now in some scenarios. But um, yeah, I think somebody got impatient and it's just kind of like, you know, I just might move on. I'll move on from Scorpio for a little while. If they reach out, they reach out. If they don't, they don't. If Pisces reaches out, if they do, okay. If they don't, okay. So yeah, a lot of emotion going on here. So my awesome and amazing Scorpios and Pisces, if you like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at blue scorpion gifts at gmail.com. And my amazing assistant, Victoria will book you for that personal reading, but until next time, take care.